Hey, welcome back to episode number eight of Rob Moore's Words of Wisdom series. And as you probably already know, my name is Rob Moore, award-winning author, leadership expert, and founder of therobmoore.com. And I help people show up, step out, and shine so they can perform better and become leaders who shine. And today I want to talk about something really cool, and that is the power of of words. Now, why are words powerful? Words are powerful because they reveal how you think. And if you watched any of the videos before this one in this series, you would have learned and you would know that the way you think is going to determine what happens in your life. So, your words reveal how you think. So, what I want you to do, just a little exercise. You know, when you get done watching this video, and it, it really should be a permanent, permanent exercise, but just test it out and see for yourself. I want you to start to observe yourself and listen to the things that you say. And I want you to ask yourself about some of these things that you're saying. Is the thing that I just said the phrase that I just said or the sentence I just said, is that something that's empowering to your life? Empowering to other people's lives? Or is it something that's totally the opposite? Something that's disempowering? Or even worse, something negative? I want you to think about that. I want you to observe yourself. And what I also want you to do is I want you to observe what other people say. I want you to just watch. What do they say to you? What do they say to other people? Just observe it and ask yourself that same question. Are the things that they're saying, are they empowering or disempowering to their lives? Just do that as a little exercise. And what I have learned and this was one of those things, you know, and I know I've said this, this on many occasions, you know, because there's a lot of things that, that I learned about life and success kind of on my own by trial and error before I even realized that, you know, there are all these principles of success and all of these audio books out there and all of these um, hardcover books and all of these great teachers out here. You know, I'm very blessed and fortunate to to learn a lot of this stuff through trial and error. But as I look like through my life, you know, before I had any major successes in my life, I did not speak with confidence. I didn't speak in a way that empowered me. I, I did speak in ways that empowered others because I was the type of person where I was always wanting to take care of other people and really forgetting about myself. But I remember some of the things, you know, that, you know, some of my friends used to say, like when some of my friends would like crack on me and, and make jokes, you know what I would do? You know what I would do? Tell me if you can relate. I used to agree with the things that they said. Like they're cracking on me. They're making jokes on me. They're making fun of me. And I used to agree. But like you know what. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's not empowering. And I remember. You know before I had. Like my, my first real big major successes. And, and that first retail company that I was working for where I started to get into management and then my career just took off extremely quickly. My language totally changed. You know, like I spoke my life into existence. I would say things with confidence. I wouldn't just say, I'm going to make this happen. I've said, I'm going to make this happen, period, end of story. It's done. You see, there's a difference just in the two ways that I just said that. So, the thing that's really cool about this power of words things is you can, you can just see 
how people think. And you can just, just by having a conversation with somebody, you can just literally know what their life is all about just by having a five minute conversation with somebody. And you can tell if they have a great life or not just from having a five minute conversation with people. You know, I have met people that I have had conversations with and they would make a mistake on something. And I remember this, this particular female, like she would make a mistake like most people do. Nobody in the world is perfect. We all make mistakes. But I remember this female in this environment making a mistake. And the first thing that she says is, I'm so dumb. I always make mistakes. And guess what? That's how she thinks. And whatever you think, whatever you believe is what actually will happen in your life. Because your mind gives you exactly what you're thinking, exactly what you believe. Period. End of story. So I would say to her, don't say that. I was like, why are you beating yourself up like that? Listen, we're all, we're, 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 we're all human. We all make mistakes. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. It's okay to mess up. It's okay to make a mistake. But don't beat yourself up verbally. Instead, say something different. Say something positive. Say, man, I, man, I messed that up. But you know what? I'm going to learn from that. And I'm not going to let that happen again. You're better off saying something like that instead of just beating yourself up verbally. So, I want you to really take some time over these next few days and I want you to observe the words that you say. And I want you to work on speaking in a way that is more empowering to you. Like if you're the type of person that always makes mistakes, instead of making a mistake and and acknowledging that you're making a mistake and, and giving it more energy and more power of making a mistake, why don't you just say something like, you know what, I'm going to get this right. You know what, I, I make things happen. I make mistakes, but I always correct them and grow from them. Something along those lines. But just remember, you can speak your life into existence. And remember, words determine how your words reveal how you think. And how you think is going to determine how your life is going to turn out. So speak the words of the things that you want to happen and speak in empowering ways. And it's only going to be a matter of time before you start to notice some changes in your life. So that's your exercise that I want you to work on. That's your words of wisdom that I want you to and plant into your brain this this uh, you know this day, and uh, pretty much that's going to be all that I'm going to talk about. So what I want you to do is like this video if you like what I had to say, make some comments, ask some questions, share it with some people that you think can benefit from this message, and we'll go from there. And I will be looking forward to seeing you back on episode number nine, the next video. Hey, my name is Rob Moore, reminding you to show up, step out, and shine. Now is your time, so make it shine. Thank you very much, and have a fantastic day. Catch you later.